Welcome to my final update for the Indominus Coast to Coast Challenge. A challenge between two friends, one on the East Coast, one on the West Coast, to see who can build the Warhammer 40K Indominus box set better. We started out with the Base Marines and we're gonna move on to the neck rounds next. The Space Marines, we're doing our best to do a parade ready or the best that we can get to parade ready finish on our Marines. The neck rounds that we're going to do next week are going to be built for speed. So that'll be a little bit of a change next week. Um, I'm looking forward to that because honestly I think the more I try to add details and stuff I'm kind of killing my models. Uh, looking a little bit thick you can see here. I'm going to remove some of the shine. I have only some touch-ups. I'm pretty much done. Um, I got some shading, uh, some weathering. I need to weather the chainsaws a little bit more and fix some stuff around the eyes. But all in all, I'm doing okay. The Ultramarine squad that I built, they're based. And um, I'm going to do a jungle for these Raptor Chapter Space Marines. Um, I've been working on different ways to do foliage at their feet and I got a couple more days to work on it because the event stops or the first phase of the event stops on May 5th. So on May 5th myself and Tech Jedi who I'm competing against we both are gonna stop and then we'll work on our presentation. We're both gonna be making a video presentation and our judge is from across the pond uh, at mini apothecary at uh, Twitter and Instagram and on Twitch and I think he has a discord and he interacts freely with people I really like that so I asked him to judge and he's gonna judge our first phase um, we're looking really looking forward to that and uh, we both have a week or so to work on our presentations and we're going to do the best we can. I've already been kissing butt by following him on all the things and I even had a good time tonight watching his uh, Twitch live stream and he was working on some grimdark projects for himself. You can see here is my ultramarine squad. I took influences from the old school versions and the newer versions. I remember years ago seeing pictures with their chainsaws that had warning labels so I put some warning labels and I used some red on um, some of their weapons. I remember they used to have yellow arm pads and red weapons and like bright green bases when I first saw Warhammer pictures. And I'm um, taking a little bit of the old school with the new school and I can see a whole bunch of mistakes now that I'm zoomed in. And I see a whole lot of fuzz uh, falling. I got the fans on in the house and all the windows are open and it looks like fibers though, so <laughs> who knows what I'm breathing in. Uh, can't be any worse than uh, all the toxins in the paints and primers and everything that we use, but this is our judge, uh, Mini Apothecary, and we're both super excited to have a judge for our first round and we're going to be adding judges for the subsequent rounds so we can force ourselves to improve and have a lot of fun so that's what exactly what this event was for it's to have fun and force us to build to the best of our ability and learn tips and tricks along the way so I'm going to be working on some details this week I'm going to be stopping on the fifth and then working on my final presentation